Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to have you guys here because I am going to share my updated hair routine. So I'm still using the same products, but I have changed it up a little bit, introduced new products to my hair. So why don't you come along and join me and I'll explain the reasons why as we go along. off with I already washed my hair I used my Aunt Jackie's oh so clean shampoo it is curly girl method approved then I used my Aunt Jackie's cocoa repair which is not curly girl method approved here are the reasons why not so the reason I switched over and started experimenting I felt like my previous conditioner that I used wasn't just it wasn't doing it for me it's still an amazing conditioner it makes my hair feel soft but when I tried to finger to detangle in the shower I literally couldn't run my hands through and I had so so much of conditioner in my hair and I still couldn't run my hands through so that was starting to be a problem for me so I'm experimenting with other conditioners which are not necessarily curly girl method approved so if you are strictly curly girl method approved please ignore what i'm using and just use whatever you feel is working for you so that's what i used uh, in the shower so also what i brought back is a brush so previously i said that curly girls are not supposed to brush their hair according to the curly girl handbook written by lorraine massey so she says we shouldn't brush our hair even if we have a brush that specifies it is for detangling or it is for curly hair, we should not use it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go in full with this curly girl method. And I started noticing something I've never ever in my life experienced. And that is called fairy knots, guys. I was so scared. And the fairy knots was about my ends were here and then the fairy knots started there. So I literally had to cut it off. Because there's nothing you can do if you get fairy knots. So I started asking around and researching. And that is because you're not properly detangling your hair. So I started bringing back my brush. It's not a special brush. So I started now detangling in the shower. And like you can see, even after I've brushed out my conditioner, my hair is so detangled. I can start from the top and even run it through. And it's not even hurting me. It's not even stuck in my hair. It's really working great for me. So in the shower, uh, I would start from my ends and work my way up. I'm going to start with my favorite, Olaplex. So the reason I put this in my hair, you not, don't necessarily have to put this in your hair. It's because my hair is very damaged from bleaching. So I've been always using this in my hair because I have blonde hair. So what I do is I just finger rake it through my strands. Like this, like you guys have seen in my previous video. Then, something new that I have is a leave-in conditioner from Aunt Jackie's. So the reason why I started working in a leave-in conditioner to my routine is because I felt my hair was needing that extra moisture during the days it wasn't wash day. So usually I wash my hair every three, maybe four days. And by the last day, it would be really dry and needing some moisture. So this, I feel, really does help. And when I do refresh, I take a little bit of this sometimes if I don't take some of my curl custard. So I put a little bit on my hands and the same as the Olaplex. I just lightly rake it through my hair, making sure I don't miss the front and the back of my hair. Which brings me to my next step. Aunt Jackie's Curl La Defining Curl Custard. So the reason why I started incorporating this into my routine is because I am in the experimenting phase. I know it's not Curly Girl Method approved. Here are the reasons why it's not. But I am really trying to see what my hair wants and what it likes and what it doesn't like. So this doesn't mean I am throwing the curly girl method out of the door. It just means I'm trying new stuff. If it doesn't work, it's on me. If it does work, then I know. 
So some people try non-curly girl method approved products and it really works well for them. And other people, it just doesn't work for them. They strictly stick to curly girl method approved products. So since I'm still in the learning curve of all of this, I decided why not I'm going to try it I really want a curl defining cream or product I've seen so many people use it and they do say that they have more curl definition so also the biggest reason why I chose this one is because clicks had a 342 special so this is the three products I bought together so if you buy two products you get one for free so this is really the only curling custard on Jackie's head and I'm going to try it and I do like it. So if you are strictly curly girl method approved, I do not advise that you go off the rail just because I am using it. Okay, so we are going to put it in our hair and it smells amazing. It's quite a thick consistency. So I'm going to put this much, put it in my hands and rig it through my hair. So the biggest reason I started experimenting, like I told you guys, it started with the fairy knots and then I did my research, switched over to a brush. I also started experiencing that my scalp started to get very oily and I couldn't understand why I also got loads of dandruff which I never ever 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 got. Which was so scary. My hair was doing something and I couldn't understand my hair and that's a very scary place to be. So I also started getting weird buildups in my follicles of my hair. I'll insert some pictures right over here. It's very gross, I'm sorry. But just so you can see what was happening. So I did switch back to the sulfates. I went a bit crazy and I washed my hair three times that night. Which was not good for my hair. My hair was very dry. And that's why I haven't been posting any videos lately because I just needed to get that fixed so after I went through my panic I just took a deep breath and I was like okay my hair since I'm new is a sulfate addict and I need to switch over slowly so if you've been using shampoos that necessarily don't have sulfates and your hair is fine don't worry about what I'm saying but if you've experienced and you're especially you new and you have been using shampoos that are really harsh on your hair, transition slowly before you get problems, okay? So I've incorporated this, okay? It's my Reflection Struggle Shampoo. Okay, so this is working great for me and my husband. We will make a video on this. So I'm using this, but I'm switching it up. So if I feel my hair is built up at my scalp, it is oily, it's not feeling clean, I'm using this. But today, I used this because my hair was feeling fine. So I will keep you guys updated on if I'm going to completely leave the sulfates, am I going to transition slowly, and what is happening. But the most important part is listen to your hair. Okay, so we get no problems. So since I am talking a lot, I'm just making sure my hair is completely wet. Okay. Okay, now that I made sure my hair is still very wet, I'm going to take my Denman brush, but really you can use whatever brush. I'm still figuring this thing out. There's a big craze in the curly girl community about this brush so I had to go get it but I would suggest before just buying stuff like me just start and start slowly because I feel like we see other influences or we see people trying stuff and we're like I've got to get that and then we try it and it sucks <laughs> or oh, we still don't know how to figure it out so that might discourage you so I don't know, I still have it, so I'm going to try it. So I'm just going to rake the hair through so I make sure all my product is nicely saturated and I want to enhance my curl clumps. See, I want them to be together like this so I have nice clumps. So I'm trying to brush away from my scalp so it doesn't stick on my head because we want volume. There we go.
we are still going to style upside down. So now that it's quite brushed through and you can see here the plumps are already forming, I'm going to take my gel, my Curl Boss gel from Aunt Jackie's Curly Girl Approved. I'm going to start putting that in my hair. So I like a lot of gel because I diffuse my hair. I do not like air drying. If you haven't seen my previous video on that, please go check it out. And then once we have raked all the gel in, we are going to start styling upside down. I feel like this gives my hair lots of volume and also helps my roots not to cling to my scalp. So we are going to take our hair and just shake it a bit so it is off of our scalp. I know it looks funny. Styling curly hair, I must say, is the weirdest thing I've ever done in my life. And then we can keep on scratching. Okay, the next step is we are going to take this off. Like you can see here, a lot of the water came onto my shoulders. That was before I started recording and putting this on, so this does help a lot. But usually you guys will start styling, so just with your towel and right after the shower and not get dressed. <laughs> so I am just going to get all of that excess water out of my hair because we want to start diffusing. So we're not squishing, we are literally taking the towel and just bringing our hair gently up so that all that extra moisture gets sucked up so we can dry our hair a little bit faster. Moisture. We're just going to take some extra gel and make sure the gel is covering our hair nicely. So what I like to do with this part is I just put it in my hands, flip my hair over, gently rake over my hair and then scrunch up and not squishing, just taking my hands and taking it up. Okay, now we are ready for the diffusing. A few moments later. So I've been air drying my hair for about 20 minutes now and it is almost dry, it's almost almost there. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to stop right there. I really don't want to over dry my hair. So I'm going to put my makeup on. More moments later. Okay, we are back and I've just completed putting on my makeup. So what we are going to do now is scrunch out the crunch. So as you guys know, I use my Redken Frizz Dismiss to scrunch out the crunch. This is just because you don't want to necessarily just use your bare hands because we know touching your curls causes frizz. So this will then instead go on my hair and also seal in all of that moisture. So this is a silicone, that's why it's not Curly Girl approved. And that is why I'm still using sulfates because I'm not off the silicones. So I can't go off the sulfates if I'm still using silicones. If you're not using either, that is fine. You do get other oils that are Curly Girl approved that you can use to scrunch up the crunch. So I just put a little bit in my hands, put it in and make sure my hands are coated so that it's basically this oil that's gonna be soaked up in my hair and not just my hands touching my curls. So then I'm just going to lightly scrunch out the gel cast that we made and I find with my wavy hair I don't want to be like scrunching out too hard I want to be gentle so we don't ruin any of the curls or the clumps that was formed as you can see here in the front they are curly and the sun is shining in my room so you can see nicely So I haven't been happy with my curls for quite a few weeks, so I am so happy that today is the day. It is the day. It's probably because yesterday I watched Mohana, so maybe she inspired me and I was like, I'm going to get my curl on today. But yeah, I'm very, very happy with how it turned out today. 
as you can see. With all of that said, I really hope you enjoyed that video and if you did, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I really hope this video helped you in some way or another, especially hearing it from somebody that has only started embracing their curls for one month. Yes, one month I haven't used my straightener and I am so proud of myself. So that just goes to show it. If I can do it as a beginner, you can also do it. The point of this video is also not to divert you from the curly girl method. If it's working for you, that is really, really awesome. The point is just to share with you the problems I've been facing. And if you maybe have been facing the same problems, some of the solutions we can do.